Okay, guys. So let's start off with break-even analysis. Now, break-even analysis is one of the most important marginal costing technique, which allows the firm to identify the level of output required to make neither profit nor loss. So, in simple words, I would say break-even is the point, which is the minimum level of output that every firm would want to make. Because units above break even would indicate a profit. So I can say break even is the level of sales revenue or unit sold where the business makes no profit or no loss. That's the point where total revenue is exactly equal to total cost. All right. So the entire contribution covers your total cost. Now let's discuss what contribution is. Another important marginal costing concept is contribution. Contribution is basically the difference between selling price and variable cost. So contribution is the money that is left with the firm after it has paid off its variable cost and the firm will use this contribution to cover fixed cost and the remainder becomes its profit. All right, so we can also say that contribution per unit, if I look at it in terms of a, of a single unit, is selling price minus variable cost. All right, so selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. That's your contribution per unit. So once the firm knows its contribution, it would know that it needs to use this money to pay off its fixed cost and the remainder becomes its profit. So I would say that in order to calculate profit under marginal costing, we can say the following profit is equal to contribution per unit. How much do you save or earn on one single unit multiplied by the number of units that gives you your total contribution minus fixed cost. This would show the level of profit that a firm can make at different levels of output. All right, so if a firm knows its contribution per unit and its fixed cost, so it can easily measure that how change in units will bring about a change in profit. Okay, so we can link output with profit over here. Now, in order to calculate the break-even point, we can use these two methods, the unit contribution method and the contribution to sales ratio method. Now, the unit contribution method is an easy way to calculate the break even point. Uh, this is when all the figures are available and the question has given you data regarding the selling price per unit and variable cost per unit. Everything has been given. So we can calculate the break even point in units to be total fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Now let me show how this is derived. Okay, so if I take you guys over here, let me rewrite the profit equation again. So we can say profit is equal to contribution per unit times number of units minus fixed cost. Alright, so if we write down this equation. Now break even is the point where your profit or loss is equal to zero. You're not making a profit or a loss. Your total revenue has exactly covered your total cost. All right. So in place of profit, if I write zero, contribution per unit is available. Number of units is something that we have to find minus fixed cost. So if I rearrange this and take fixed cost to the other side, I get fixed cost is contribution per unit times number of units. I need to make number of units the subject. So I can say the break even level of units is equal to fixed cost upon contribution per unit. That becomes my break even. Okay. So this is how we calculate the break even under the unit contribution method. Okay, now switching back to the slide. So we, we now know that in order to calculate the break even point in units, we will use this equation that is fixed cost upon contribution per unit. 
Now, if we would want to convert the break-even level of output into revenue terms, so we can say, in order to find break-even in dollar terms, we'll take the break-even units and we'll multiply it by the selling price per unit. All right, so this will give us the break-even in terms of revenue. So to find break-even in units, you'll first do fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. This will show the minimum units or the required units by the firm to cover all its costs. Then to convert that into revenue, just take your units and multiply it by the selling price. Per unit. Another way how we can calculate the break-even is the contribution to sales ratio method. All right. This is also called the profit volume method. Uh, we, we will usually use use this when the firm is manufacturing multiple products and unit data is not available usually over here so we would want to use the contribution to sales ratio method. Now under this method the firm can do the following. They can first calculate the contribution to sales ratio. Right now what is the contribution to sales ratio? Contribution to sales ratio is total contribution divided by total sales or we can also say contribution to sales ratio can also be calculated as contribution per unit upon selling price per unit if unit data is given all right multiplied by 100 now this shows that for every dollar worth of sales how much does the firm save as contribution so for every one dollar of sale how much does the firm generate as contribution? So the rest would become its variable cost. So for example, if the CS ratio is 30%, I can easily say that 70% of every dollar of sale has been used to pay off my variable cost and 30% is what is left behind with the firm as contribution. So under the contribution to sales ratio method you can find the break even point as fixed cost divided by by cs ratio this will give us break even in dollar terms all right so we can we can directly calculate the break even point in dollar terms as fixed cost divided by cs ratio so remember in the earlier slide we we first calculated break even in units and then we moved on to break even in dollar terms but if if we have the CS ratio, we can directly calculate the break even in dollar terms over here as fixed cost divided by the CS ratio. All right, I will summarize up all these equations at the end. All right, the next concept, what is margin of safety? Let's discuss that. So if I take you guys over here, margin of safety is the difference between actual sales and the break even level of sales. So margin of safety is basically the excess output that you would make above the break even point. Remember break even point shows the minimum level of units I need to make just to cover all my cost and achieve zero profit. Margin of safety is measuring the region that I produce above the break even point. So that can indicate to a management that how far can the sales fall before the business will move into the loss region. All right. So, According to this, margin of safety is also a measure of business risk. The best example would be that during COVID, most businesses faced a decline in sales. So margin of safety would help them assess their, their business risk that how much of a sales decline can they bear before they enter into a loss region. So if a firm, let's say if I had two firms over here, I had firm A versus firm B. Firm A has a high margin of safety. Firm B has a low margin of safety. So what I can say is firm A has low business risk because it can bear a greater decline in sales before it starts entering the loss region. But firm B, because it has a low margin of safety, very soon if the sales continue to decline, it will enter the loss region. So firm B actually has a high business risk. So margin of safety is also 
a measure of your business risk and it is calculated as actual or achievable sales minus the break even we can also convert margin of safety into percentage terms if we look at it like this so we can say margin of safety is in percentage terms is margin of safety in units upon your sales units so if i were to write it over here margin of safety in units was actual output minus break even output so if i were to convert margin of safety into percentage terms i would say margin of safety units upon the sales units into 100 this would indicate us that what percent of sales can decline before we enter the loss region and finally i can also find margin of safety in dollar terms that can be done as follows margin of safety units multiplied by the selling price again this would give me margin of safety in dollar terms or in dollar terms how much can my sales take a hit before i enter the loss room all right and as we have discussed earlier in order to calculate any level of profit we can just use this equation contribution per unit into number of units minus fixed cost now let me summarize up all these equations. So if we, if we summarize up all our equations that we've calculated up till now, we've calculated how to find the contribution per unit, which is the saving that a firm make on every single unit that they manufacture, selling price minus variable cost. To find any level of profit, you can use this equation contribution per unit multiplied by number of units minus fixed cost, even for any level of target profit as well we can use this equation and i will use that in some questions that will follow after this video to find the cs ratio the firm will use contribution per unit upon selling price per unit cs ratio is a measure of that on every dollar of sale how much do we earn as contribution to find the break even point using the unit contribution method just use fixed cost divided by contribution per unit to convert that into revenue, you can use break even in units into selling price. Or if you're using the profit volume method, you can find fixed cost upon CS ratio, an alternative way to find the break even in, in your dollar terms. And we just calculated the margin of safety. So the margin of safety in units shows the actual output minus break even output. Margin of safety in percentage terms is margin of safety units upon sales units, an indication that what percent of sales can decline before you enter the loss region, also a measure of your business risk. And to convert your margin of safety into dollar terms, just take margin of safety units and you multiply it by the selling price. All right, so these are some useful equations that we will use in different questions. All right, so in the next video, I'm gonna cover the break-even chart and show how that chart should look like and how we should draw this chart on the exam. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.